Welcome, I'm John. I'm Malik. Uh, I'm the Senior Vice President for this bank. I must say, Malik, I've read your CV, I've read the notes from HR. They're very interesting. So maybe you can start by giving me a short self-introduction. I'm a Senior Project Manager at TK Construction Private Limited and I learned from your HR that there might be an opening in your Jakarta office in a similar role. And I hope to leverage on my extensive skills and achievements as a senior project manager. And uh, I hope that uh, I would be able to make a change from construction to banking. That's true. Uh, we do have an opening in our Jakarta office. However, you know that uh, most of our projects involve uh, foreign workers. So do you have any experience managing foreign workers before? Yes, I do. In my current role, there are 120 workers. Majority of them are foreign workers. That's great. But can you describe a situation whereby you have to handle a major worker conflict? Yes, I encountered one incident before. Uh, this was when I was at Centurion. And um, I remembered the foreman came into my office and said that there's a group of workers who suddenly dropped their tools and refused to work. As a senior project manager, I felt that I have to manage uh, the situation quickly. So I spoke to the representative of the group of workers. We spoke for about three hours and the one thing I found out was that there was a misunderstanding uh, in wages because they felt that they were paid lower than another group of workers. So I had to explain carefully with patience and tact of course to explain to them that the main difference was due to taxes and fees. They understood and they went back to work amicably. On hindsight I felt that I could have done better by explaining more clearly at the start about their salary compensation before even they start work. Very, very good. Um, but do you have to ever bend the rules a bit to achieve your objectives? I believe that I've gotten this far in my career is because of my integrity. Um, I understand um, that in business transactions overseas, there might be a little bit of grey area. In such cases, I always believe to uphold transparency. Uh, if ever in doubt, of course, have to consult with the supervisors. But if it's legal and within my means, I would be firm and to ensure that objectives are met. So, have you ever tried to accomplish anything and fail before? Many times. I think uh, Robert F. Kennedy did say that those who dare to fail greatly can achieve greatly. So, I took all my experiences where I failed and I took it as a learning lesson and improved myself from there. That's a very good quote. By the way, I must also inform you, integrity is also one of our bank's core values. Uh, it's also our bank policy that the final interview has to be done by another senior vice president from another division. Uh, this is to ensure transparency. So how does your schedule next week look like?